So here I am in the Ray Optics Simulator, and I want to generate the uh, primary or principal rays, Ray 1 and Ray 2, to form images. So how do I do it here? So first thing that I would do is I would set up a grid system. Okay, now that I have a grid system, the second thing that I would do here is that I need a ruler to be able to measure things. So here's my ruler, and what I would do here is that I would shoot for the middle of the screen, and I would go all the way across. Now, to get the numbers to work out well, you want to line up this ruler with one of the grid lines that's horizontal. And what I'm seeing here is that I typically put a value in the middle of this thing here, and I'm going to say that since this goes all the way across to 1200, I'm going to say that 600 here is going to be my middle. Now the next thing that I want to do here is that I want to put in a lens. So if I go to the glasses and I get an ideal lens, I want to take this lens and I want to line it up with the vertical axis of one of the grid marks. And I want to put the middle, the tick mark in the middle, to line up. Now, you can adjust this thing here so that it's vertical. And again, that helps with the numbers. So now I have a system where I have a long lens. I have a ruler. And so now to set up uh, ray diagrams, I'm going to adjust the focal length of this guy by clicking here at the focal length and I can change that just by clicking it but let's say that this is 100 and then the next thing that I need here is I need to set up my object an object has two things it has a distance from the focal excuse me a distance from the lens and it has some height for the sake of argument let's say that the object is going to be 300 centimeters away so if I come in and I pick on a ray I have a point here and so you could see that this point here is at the 300 centimeter mark but it also has to have some height so I'm going to come in and get a second ruler and again it pays to adjust this thing so that it's along the vertical axis. Now I'm going to take this point and I'm going to say that my object is a hundred centimeters high. Now I could come in here and I should be able to adjust my ray so that it's parallel to the axis. And what you're seeing right now is that if I click on this lens, Note that this guy is not going to the 100 mark of the focal length. So I keep adjusting my lens until it's in the middle. And once I do that, I now get a 100 centimeter focal length as this thing indicates. So now what I want to do here is that I want to come in. Oops. And add a second ray and this ray here I need to put at the exact same location which is at 100 and then I'm going to adjust it so that ray number two goes through the middle of the lens so what you're seeing here is that I have an object of this height and I have an image where they cross now there's this thing called a blocker and this blocker we can use this thing as either to represent objects. So let's say that this object then is going to have a height of 100 centimeters. Now I'm not going to put that at the 300 centimeter mark because it's a blocker or in everyday language it's called a screen. And then I could adjust this blocker or screen and you could see that if I put it there, it blocks the rays, but I can adjust it so that it tells me where the rays are going to be in focus right here.
So just sort of like playing with it a little bit. Then what I find here is that I could measure the height of this image. I could measure the distance to this image with the ruler here. So if I add one more ruler, I could then come in here and I can do this to measure the height of this image now. So now I have a way of measuring not only the object distance, the object height, but the but also the image distance and the image height. Now the second thing that we got to focus on here is diverging lens. So the way to deal with diverging lens is that you could click on the lens and then come in here and put in negative 100 to get a diverging lens. And if you do that, you could then extend ray one back through and then you still have the one going through the center and you could see where the image is being produced now is on the left side of the lens indicating that it's virtual here so that being the case i could do the same thing as before i could measure the distance to the image i could move my ruler so that i could measure the height of this image and therefore, I could measure two quantities about 